For 2D, I'm told that the two airplanes collide at this position, negative 22, 12, 16. So I want to find out then how long after Bryn's airplane does Jenny's airplane take off. So here I've got the two vector equations for both of these planes. And really what I want to do is I want to find out what or how long does it take for each plane to reach this position right here. So uh, what I can do is I can basically think of this position vector, negative 22, 12, 16, and I could set it equal to this vector equation and solve for t. But really, I can make my life simple, and uh, I can just isolate out the x components. Uh, since I know that this point is already a part of the flight path, I don't need to verify that all of these uh, uh, x and y and z components are on this flight path. Let's just take a look at the x parametric equation. In general, the x uh, position is going to be given as 2 minus 3t for Brin's airplane. And so I'm looking for when the x value equals negative 22. So negative 22 is going to equal 2 minus 3t. If I solve for t, I get negative 24 equals negative 3t, or t equals 8 seconds. For Jenny, I'm going to do the same process. I don't need to waste my time with looking at the x and y and z component. Let's take a look at the, the parametric equation for the x component here. The x position for Jenny's airplane is going to be given as negative 30 plus 4s. Once again, I want to find out when that x position is negative 22. So I'm going to set this whole equation equal to negative 22 and let's solve for s. So we'll add 30 to both sides. I get a positive 8 equals 4s. So s equals 2 seconds. So what does this mean? It means that if I started a stopwatch when Bryn's plane took off, it took 8 seconds until it reached this position right here. And uh, similarly, if I started a different stopwatch for Jenny, it took only 2 seconds until it reached this position. So really what I'm interested in is if I want to find out how much longer after Bryn's airplane does Jenny's take off, think about how much time must have passed uh, until Jenny's airplane took off. Well, it, took, it, it wasn't until 6 seconds into Bryn's flight path that Jenny's plane took off. And really how you get that is you just subtract. Take the difference in these times. 8 seconds minus 2 seconds means that Jenny's airplane took off 6 seconds after Bryn's airplane.